Hi, today I'm fishing the Grand Union Canal. I'm going to be using bread punch today. I've fished it a couple of times up here and it's a lovely way to fish. And I love fishing the canal, it's my favourite water, especially the Grand Union. I'm lucky to have this half an hour away from my house as it's got lots of fish in it. Today we're mainly going to be fishing for gudgeon, maybe even catch a few roach and skimmers. The punches I'm using, I'm going to start off using uh, just a two and a half mil punch. These are Drennan brass head punch, it's really good. But if a bigger fish turn up, I'm going to be using a four mil. Because this will be bigger and it will stay in the water longer without the small fish attacking it. Through the setup I'm using today. Well, my first rig has a number two elastic, really soft elastic, which is perfect. O10 main line, something nice and fairly thick. O10 is quite thick for the canal, it's about two and a half pounds because it's very windy and with a heavier line, it means it won't wrap around. The float is a DB Aqua Wire 3. It's a float from Sack Up. It's in 0.2 of a gram. I'm going to be giving these a good try today. And moving down, I've got a bulk of four number 11s. And then I've got a number 11, one number 11 dropper, and another number 11 dropper. 08 hook length with a 22 gamma green. So I'm gonna just get my punch. You can see there I've punched a bit of bread out. And all you do, there's a slit in it. You get the hook in the slit. There we go. Sometimes you may want to twist it so the hook's all showing, but this is perfect. You're gonna hook every fish still. There we go, that's a bite straight away, look. Looks like a nice gudgeon. That is quite a big gudgeon actually. Bounces. Lovely fish. When fishing bread, you, they seem to back off a feed very quick. So you may only be catching for one or two hours. So you've just got to make the most of those fish while they're there. I fed about a golf ball size of liquid ice bread to start off the session. They've settled over that really quickly. As you can see I'm getting bites as soon as the float goes in. I'm not striking at them, I'm waiting for the float to completely bury. Just lift that bread up. Bang, there we go. And we're into a big fish, look. A number two elastic is stretching really nicely. What I'm doing is keep them at low. It's probably a skimmer bream. I'd be very surprised if it's not. But you just got to take your time. You're on really light elastic. In fact, I'm sure this is a skimmer. Yeah, nice skimmer, maybe a pound, 12 ounces, something like that. But it's what, what you want. Yeah, look at that twisting in the water. See, as soon as I put that four mil punch on, I hooked a better fish. 
This is absolutely fantastic. Because we're still deep in winter. It's a barbless hook, so you've got to be really careful. There we go. Lovely fish. Look at that imber bag. I'd be surprised if that's not a pound. In fact, that, that's definitely over a pound, possibly a pound and a quarter. Oh, there's another good fish. Right after that skimmer, we've hooked another one, which doesn't feel quite as big, but still feels like a decent fish. Just trying to get out of my peg as quick as possible, which doesn't disturb things. Still think this is quite a good fish though. Maybe half a pound. There we are. There we go. Looks like a half decent fish. Probably a little skimmer on the bread. It may look like my floats undershotted, well slightly undershotted, that's because when the bread swells up it dots the float down that bit more. Oh, no it's not a skimmer, it's a lovely roach. Leaves are pain in my arse, logs you can avoid. It's a nice skimmer and a load of leaves. I know this is a roach bream hybrid, probably about six ounces well just just topped up a little bit and I've hooked something that feels quite heavy it's not really moving I, I'm sure it's a skimmer and it feels like it could be a big skimmer as well Yep, it is a big skimmer. It's what we've been after. Looks about a pound. Just on the bread punch again. And look, the hook's come out of my net. God. Under, under this large amount of leaves, there is a skimmer. Let's just clear them off a little bit. There we are, probably one pound skimmer. cracking fish feels quite heavy because it these bigger skimmers are quite wide you can see a predator's had a go at that there I'd put money on that probably being a pike in his younger life well I've had 40 fish that's what my little fish counter says There's another good fish. Right after that skimmer, we've hooked another one, which 
Doesn't feel quite as big, but still feels like a decent fish. Just trying to get out of my peg as quick as possible. Just doesn't disturb things. I still think this is quite a good fish though. Maybe half a pound. fish they're all in perfect condition I've never had a session on the canal like this where I've had this many skimmers just bruised I think it's because you I just fished it right fed it right and the fish just wanted to feed you've got to make the most of these skimmers while they're there because they do seem to bugger off quite quick so you can't really faff about you've got to Try to get a bait down there as quick as possible. Another skimmer here. Giving it a good go, trying to get away. Not massive, I don't think. Maybe half a pound. Fighting a little bit strange. Oh, it's wrapped around the line, that's why, look. Oh no. Right, it's going to give it a good go now, because it's just untangled himself. It's solid with skimmers out there, I've just fed my way into it, i fed it correctly, and we're here now. Well, this feels like another skimmer. Just gone over depth. Oh no, it's a lovely roach. Just gone over depth and first bite and it's a better fish. I wouldn't usually fish over depth, but as we just had a bit of current, what's happened is probably the liquidized bread has been moved about a little bit. It's nearly time to finish the session now. We've been fishing about five hours. We've got about 20 minutes left. Currently we've got 75 fish, including a fair few skimmers. This particular stretch of the canal is run by the train anglers. The bloke fishing next door to us is the bailiff up here and he's an absolutely cracking guy. I reckon I'll join the Tring Anglers next year. That's just a little fish. Yeah, lovely little roach. Oh, this is our last fish of the session. We've got to pack up now. It's starting to lose the light. But we've had seven, 78 fish, which is which is very good for the early February. I'm really chuffed with how it's been gone today. So let's see what we've caught. Well, it's a cracking day. Eight pound twelve ounces, which is absolutely fantastic because we're still in the winter. We've had lots of big skimmers and loads of gudgeon, 78 fish in total. What a fantastic session.